Welcome to the series where we are building hyper insulated window inserts for your RV or camper. This is part two in the series. If you haven't seen part one, click on the card above. It'll take you there. Otherwise, let's pick up where we left off. And then take your pen and trace those edges. So there you have a perfect edge. So I'm gonna do all four of those. So just take a good sharp pair of scissors and it cuts fairly easily and cut right on the line. Don't cut inside the line. If you have to err, you can go on the outside line and then go back and trim it. And cut that off. So there I've left a little bit there, but we're gonna test fit it and we're gonna fine tune it. Now you're gonna run into the case where it's slightly too big and we'll go out and test fit it in a minute here. Now if it's slightly too big, you just wanna take a little bit off at a time just a sliver off because just that little bit you see there will make a huge difference take your knife and then just cut that sliver off now you'll have to adjust the corners doing that if you don't adjust the corners now you're going the whole thing will be off so however much you cut off this edge you need to cut off the entire radius of this one with your scissors and the same over here and then it'll be an even cut now one of the most important things you have to do, and you're gonna forget this stuff, and you're gonna hate yourself for doing it. And if you do forget to do this, drop me a note in the comments so we can have a good laugh together. These are so tight fitting that if you just go out and pop this in the window, you're not going to get it out. So whenever you do a test fit, you need to make sure you have a tab put on. So take a piece of duct tape, put it on one of the edges, make sure it has a good run. So here I'm gonna put, um, do it back a little so it doesn't get stuck on something else. And make sure you have plenty enough room so when you put it in the window like this you can get a good pull on it and get it back out <laughs> because it's going to be really hard if you do get stuck if you do get it stuck in the window i'm going to go ahead and tell you how you can get it out uh, you can go to a big edge put one piece of tape like this You think I'm taking a lot of time for nothing, but believe me, you get it stuck in the window there and then you have to destroy it to get it out. You're going to be really unhappy. So then I'm going to put this piece of tape like this. And then, actually I need a little more run on that. About like that. And then we're going to merge these together. Like that. And so now you've made a little T-handle here. And just grab hold of it and you can pop that edge out. Believe me, you'll appreciate that. All right, so I like this part. I think it's a lot of fun the first time you get it to go in. So I'm gonna set it up here. Push it in. And just listen, listen to the... I don't know if you can hear the air escaping from it. Now, it's a little tight on the edge, but I'm, I think that's okay. If you notice here, my corner's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, there's also this lip on the window, which helps. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and fix for that and that's gonna be in a next step We can go ahead. So if it's a little too small or if you have a little sliver of a light gap here That's absolutely no problem because we're gonna add some more layers to this edge That's gonna fill in these gaps nicely, but just so that I know what I probably will do Best thing to do is I'll say right here. That one's actually probably pretty good. So this one we need to add This one we need to add a little bit from here to here. So evidently the radius on this window wasn't exactly like the other one, but it's gonna be close enough. Now, if you're having buckling, where if you push the corner in and this edge is buckling up, it's so tight, then trim a little bit off there. If it's buckling on a whole edge or in the middle, then you might need to take a sliver off the top or the bottom. But let's go ahead and use our tab. You can see why you can't get it out without the tab. Because they are tight. Like this one's just a little too tight. I may end up taking just a hair off this one side. All right, now, so both, since both of these corners needed a little more material, I did decided to size it down on this side, and you can see what a tiny, just a tiny, tiny cut that I've taken off of there. And that made a huge difference, and it popped in perfectly and came out without binding. Um, so this is going to be just right. 
All right, so this part is super easy and fun. So just lay out your reflectics, save yourself a little trouble, and line up your top edge here and your left edge here. And then what you're going to do is just take your pen and you're gonna trace around the edges. So here I have the piece all cut out. When you cut this out, make sure you either stay on the line or air to the outside of the line. You don't wanna end up getting inside the line. We're gonna tailor this here in just a minute to fine tune it. So cut out one of these and now we're going to stick it to the board. Now we still want to have a little bit of air gaps whenever we can, but not a lot. So certain things will stick to certain things and others won't when it comes to the glue gun. So one thing the glue gun does not stick perfectly well to is the coroplast, but it loves this duct tape. In fact, when it has a heat reaction, it really bonds quite permanently to this tape. And the tape loves the corrugated vinyl. <laughs> if you pulled some off, you'll know. So I just take one long piece of tape and I'm going to tear it into thirds. And I'm just going to put three pieces along here. And this is simply, we're gonna glue this and that's gonna be a placeholder for the Reflectix to be attached to the vinyl. And we don't want to use a spray adhesive. We don't want it to be completely bonded. We want to have it a little air in there to where it can move around but we're gonna want the edges all sealed up. So now we're gonna take a glue gun and you can be fairly liberal with it. I like a big glue gun. The little ones are gonna take forever. So I'm gonna double check, make sure this fits. And on our first one, we wanna make sure we get everything lined up. I'm gonna put a nice big bead down here. If you get it on the vinyl, it doesn't matter. Just don't get it on the carpet. And then I'm gonna put it on here and make sure I'm lined up all the way around before I really press it down. And while that's drying, I'm gonna fold it back. I'm gonna press on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my second one. Get that one glued down. Just double check you're still lined up. And pull that down just a little bit. It's nice if you have a little bit of overhang on the edge because we're gonna trim that up in a minute. And then I'm just going to do the last one. There we have it. Flip it over and press it down. Give it a chance to bond up. Now, before we do the other side, it's easier at this point to go ahead and trim the edge. Now, if yours is extremely tight fitting, then what you might want to do on the edge is to trim pretty close to the edge. Now on mine, if you see here, I marked that I need a little bit more. I didn't leave much of an overhang on this one, so on the next one I'll make sure I do. But everywhere else you can take, like this is okay, that's pretty close. Actually, I cut this one really off. Okay, so here, here it hangs out a little bit too much over here. So I just take my scissors and I'm going to leave the extra for that corner, but I'm going to trim this down right to the edge. There. That's all I have to do, so just check it all the way around. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so here's my corner where I needed a little extra material. You can see I left a little overhang there. Now, one thing I do know to mention, make your first one all the way through. Go through the entire process from beginning to end on your first one because you're going to make mistakes and you're going to be able to correct some, most of them. Shouldn't be a problem to correct. But by the time you go to make the second one, your second one is going to be so much better than your first one. And then you're going to start getting really, really fast. So your first one, you're going to say, man, this took forever. But you're, once you get your process down, it goes much faster. Now we've got our sandwich done. Now what we've got to do is now we've got to seal our edge because remember it's got to be a sealed air gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our duct tape and we're going to seal the edge. So we're going to start on, we're going to do the straight runs first. So I'm going to get a nice big long piece that doesn't cover the corners. So the corners need special attention. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this down on the edge here move that down and flip it over. Now, when we flip it over, we don't want to pull it down tight, just gentle. Just gently pull it over and lay it over. Snug but not crushing is what you want. So what you're going to end up with is it's still going to keep, it's still going to be able to keep its width like that. So 
So I'm going to do all four sides and then we'll work on the corners. All right, so I got it all done. Now on the corners, we're just going to make thin strips and I use some white tape trying to make some contrast here. So I want it to be tight on the, where it first touches down. I want it to be tight right there. And then it's going to, I'm going to put it right here. You can see it's got this little dimple here, but you can see it's smooth here. So I'm just going to keep taking strips and I'll start where it's smooth. Pull it down like that because our, our goal here is to make sure that no air can get in. So I'm just going to take my time, keep working around. All right, so here's my finished corner. You can see I'm not crushing it down. So now when you've got everything done, you're going to take your hand and you're just going to push it all the way down, squeeze it down, make sure it's all nice and airtight all the way around.